Today's video is a little bit different, but it poses a problem that I think you might relate to. The winter months are a grim time for golfers, horrible weather, short days and courses closed mean we struggle to maintain our hobby, and in my case, my job, and I need a solution to this problem quick. So I'm making a commitment this winter to find some indoor practice solutions and putting is a great place to start. And for that, I need an indoor facility that won't break the budget. So I've got myself four different putting mats to test to see if I can find a solution to practice putting indoors with realistic similarities to that of a putting green. I also wanna be able to use the mat in future months to test and review putters on a pure surface. So let's start with mat number one and the lowest priced at 88 pound and it's called True Birdie. Now I'll describe this as a decent piece of carpet. As you can see, it doesn't roll out truly flat and therefore needs to be unrolled permanently to become anything like flat enough to take serious. I'm just not overly keen about being off the mat on a different, well, at a different level. This isn't how you would put, is it? Visually, I like the look of it. It seems to roll fairly true. For the price, it was good fun, but not a serious piece of kit. Next up in terms of budget was uh, Perfect Practice and this was $129.99. Now the first thing I wanna say, if this is endorsed by Dustin Johnson, then I'm Tiger Woods. Ooh, my favorite bit about this mat is the fact that the ball comes back to me down a little wooden trough. Small things. This is terrible. I can't even get the ball in place. Let's go with that. Nah. I don't think you're learning anything on this, you know. The material used for the surface is pretty terrible, if I'm honest, and I have zero positives apart from the mini roller coaster ride the ball takes when it's on its way back to you. Then there is a jump up in price to the next two mats I'm gonna look at, and what I wanna know is will I recognize the benefits of that extra investment? And first of all, I'll look at a putting mat called Big Moss. It was $389. Now clearly, this is a decent piece of kit. It's a heavier weight surface and it's got a foam backed underlay that allows you to create the cup holes. It has a foam backstop, which is a nice touch. I'm a bit surprised at these humps and bumps from when you've rolled the mat out. They're not having a, a massive impact or it doesn't look to have on the roll, but if you've got this in the house and you want to roll it back up each time and then get it back out, then these creases are going to be ever present. So I'm not too sure if I like that idea or not. All the same, they still seem to roll pretty true. That's a real good roll. And what's interesting is they're quick. I mean, this is like, I don't know, it seems like sort of 10 on the stem. The ball rolled super quick, but not altogether a true roll. And to be honest with you, at times those undulations on the putting surface reminded me of the fairways in Forfa. There was an interesting concept to create a break in the putt, but again, whilst it worked to a degree, I wasn't overly convinced. And once again, this would have to be a permanent fixture. It's not something you could take in and out of the box because those folds would just simply not disappear. The last mat that I'm gonna take a look at is probably the most simplistic in its design. It comes from a company called Prime Put and it was 317 pounds. Now the big deal for me was there was no creases straight out of the box. 
a different level of putting surface altogether and this really did seem next level. This was a realistic proposition to create an indoor putting facility at a realistic price point. Now whilst I was a massive fan, if there was anything I'd like to see changed, it would be some minimal markings on the mat to assist as a visual aid when practicing. But other than that, it really was difficult to pick fault with this one. Well, the first thing that strikes me about this one is it's, um, it's by far the best quality and it's the one that rolls out of the box and is kind of flat straight away. That's the first thing. Oh, and a whole one. That ball rolls really true as well. Probably not the fastest. I think they say this runs at eight on the stim, so it's a little bit slower. Yeah by far the best rolling. It's good, you know, because it says it replicates a real cup and that just grabbed enough to fall in. It's very lifelike. So we started today's video with what was a very selfish motive. I wanted to find a putting mat that I could use indoor during the winter and improve my putting stroke. And my conclusion is quite simply that Prime Put was the most simplistic of the mats that I tried in the sense that it's very stripped down, no markings, all the things that I've already said in its individual review. But for me, it was by far the highest quality and the best representation of what I would find out on the fairways, at least on the greens. And if I wanted to practice my putting stroke seriously, then it was the quality of the material used in the mat itself, which was the real standout feature. So that's my conclusion, four mats tested, three going on eBay, one finds its way probably into my spare room. As ever, thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.